Welcome back to Peppers for Christ. I've got a noodle review for you guys tonight. Um, another mainstream product. This is a, well, this is the top of the package. I'll show you. This is um, hot and spicy firewalk. Let's see, uh, sizzling rich pork. Not really sure how I feel about that. I'm not really a pork person, but uh, it says pork flavor. It has like two vegetable sauce uh, seasonings. It has uh, dehydrated vegetables in one seasoning. And then it has a, um, a dehydrated powder. It says to add this uh, fire sauce packet last. It looks just like a um, some kind of chili oil. And it says it's four out of uh, six chili peppers. I got another one of these I'll review later. That's a six out of six. I figured I'd start with uh, this one. Don't think it's going to be that hot. But if it produces a good flavor, it's got a little bit of burn. I ain't complaining. So, let's see what's what here. Man, they uh, adult proof these things. You ever have a hard time opening these up, especially the, the, thick, uh, the, the thick plastic ones? Maybe that's just me. All right. Yeah, this is like a, I'll show you, it's almost like a, it's almost like a dark oil. I got some on my finger. Looks like blood. Oh, looks like blood. Yep. Can't really, it doesn't really look, oh my gosh, I got it all over my hand. It doesn't really look that red when I looked at the camera, but when I'm looking at it in real life, it, it looks like, um, looks like, like I had a, uh, a woodworking accident like a, a tool got a hold of me hold on all right you smell like pork noodles all night there's a cure for that it's called Don dish soap comes in handy when you're growing peppers and chopping them up and dehydrating them all right, let me give this a little good stir. Let's see uh, how spicy it is. Oh, uh, if anybody doesn't know, uh, Peppers for Christ is also on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I post pictures that sometimes are not chili related and uh, more spiritual. We're getting out there in the community, getting more connected with people, trying to build the community up, not just the chili community, but... Uh, the regular uh, mainstream community as well. So anybody wants to learn more about that, you can always message me on uh, Instagram. Let's go ahead and give this a shot, see what it tastes like. Not very dark. It's got a... Uh, it's got like an aroma that I'm not really... I can't place it. It's almost like a... Uh, I don't want to say like cilantro. It's like it's like an herby smell. Let's go ahead and try this. Hmm. You know this is uh, this is a lot better than I thought it was going to be, and it's got some heat to it. It does. Uh, I was about to throw it under the bus before I even tried it, uh, just because a lot of times you don't get no heat. This does have a little bit of heat. This is interesting. It, it's it is it's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I'm a little skeptical when it comes to uh, uh, dehydrated like pork powder flavoring and stuff. Mm. Wow. That's crazy good. Nishin. I think that's how you pronounce it. Nishin. Firewalk noodles. I got some pretty cool stuff. I mean, you know, for what it is, it's cheap. It's not that expensive. Um, can't remember where I picked this up at. Um, but you could probably find this at, at most grocery stores, I'm assuming. Um, shop local if you can. If you, if you have the opportunity to shop local, do it. Uh, I don't know if any of your your local mama pop stores carries this or not, 
but if not, you could probably get one from a larger uh, grocery store chain. Wow, this is crazy good, guys. Like, I almost, I want to add a little bit of hot powder to this, but I just, uh, I don't want to throw the flavor off. This is so good. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh. So good. A little salty, but it's pork, so it's supposed to have pork is supposed to be salty. Ah, oh, praise God. Thank you guys so much. I hope you like this uh, review. I don't know if it's cilantro. You know what it is? I think it's cumin. I'm, I'm tasting a little bit of cumin in that. Uh, maybe like a little bit of like a lime or something. I don't really see. I'd have to read the ingredient, but the ingredient uh, label is dried wood ear mushroom. I don't think I've ever had that in noodles before. It's got a lot of ingredients here. I should have just taken a picture of it and showed it to you guys. Yeah, don't make fun. I'm getting older. I got to get glasses. So sometimes that that fine that fine uh, little small writing that's not really fair to people like us. <laughs> I'll be sitting here forever trying to read all that off. Anyways, guys, I hope you like it. If there's something you want to see me review or try or something you want to talk about, uh, feel free to message me or drop a comment below. And uh, remember to uh, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. God bless. Have a great day.